Taisa Lalani. My name is Mary Lee. And we are going to present the effects of perceived stress on the mental health of college students. Okay, so what exactly is the significance of perceived stress? Perceived stress is defined as the extent to which somebody feels like they can deal with a stressful situation and exactly how they plan on coping with that. And normally we would measure that with this thing called the PSS scale, which it looks like this actually a copy. Um, and this is where participants would rank how stressed they feel, um, depending on these different questions. This is how medical professionals would actually measure perceived stress. And our whole presentation will be talking about exactly why this is important for MRI students. So to measure one of the perceived stress using this scale, there was a study done on pharmacy students to find out what the frequent stressors are that contribute to college students being stressed more often. And although this is not an exhaustive list, this contains the most that happens. One of the first ones is leaving home. And this is critical because when you're leaving home, you're coming into a new surrounding. Everything is changing. Also, balancing your extracurricular activities with your academic grade point average is also really important, particularly because sometimes even to remain in the extracurricular activities, you need to maintain a certain grade point average. So this can lead to <coughs> it being really stressful. Also, some freshmen like to <coughs> rush during their spring semester or freshman year. So this can also add to stress because now you have to balance your time even more, add, um, go to the certain events that are being um, offered. Also, financial troubles. This is um, really important because not everyone is guaranteed the same amount of financial aid every year. And so this can be hard because you don't know if you're going to be able to afford the same tuition at the same school again. Also, choosing a career. Most students come into Emory thinking they want to do something like, let's say, pre-med. But then when they are explored to other options, they decide that they want to switch their majors. And this can be stressful because you've already taken certain classes in a certain area. And now you're switching back. So these are all the stressors that we have. OK, so we actually did our own survey. Get a little graph for you guys of um, freshmen here at Emory. Um, we actually had the extra, um, eight participants who were in the survey, and we asked them two questions. The first was, How overwhelmed do you feel on a scale of one to ten? And we also asked, How many times a week do you feel stressed? So, for the first question, we had seven out of eight people score higher than a five um, for how overwhelmed they feel, which is actually very high. And for the second one, we had six out of eight report feeling stressed four or more times a week which is also a very large number. Um, also, I want to tell you guys that most of these participants were female, and we'll talk about what that means later on. So, this is a survey that was done on uh, the Canadian Community Health Survey done in 2008, and they had two variables in the survey. One was age, and the other was gender. Um, as you can see, the blue is male, the red is female, and they actually had, they were asking, how stressed do you feel? These are percentages here. And they had the female young adult to middle-aged participants report being very, very stressed. And this also correlates to our data, where our female college-age students reported being very stressed. So going back to the pharmacy study that we talked about earlier, um, we found that the health-related quality of life was significantly negatively correlated with um, perceived stress. So that's just going to say that when you have higher levels of depression, it's due to the fact that you have higher levels of perceived stress. And although the exact cause of depression is not known, it, it has been suggested that the more stressed you are, let's say if you have broken up with your long-term boyfriend or girlfriend, have failed a class, or even are having financial troubles, it can lead you to have a negative attitude, and um, this can uh, lead you to have more stress, or you feel like you can't uh, cope with the demands that are placed on you. Okay, so the um, inability to actually cope with these situations can also lead to sleep deprivation. So we see people who report being very stressed, um, also not sleeping regularly, or just reporting having a lot less sleep. And um, it actually goes the other way also, where this sleep deprivation can actually contribute to perceived stress. So people who um, report not being able to sleep at night tend to also say that they are very, very stressed at that time in their life. And also anxiety has been correlated to perceived stress. Anxiety is more of like the physical attributes that you would see because of perceived stress. This would be fidgeting or just like an overall uneasy feeling that you have. Um, 
and that's definitely correlated to being very stressed. So it's really critical as to how you approach the stress that's being placed on you. The two ways <coughs> are emotion focused and problem focused. Um, we, we know, because we do it too, we uh, tend to focus more with the emotion focus, which includes tackling the emotions around the stress instead of the stress itself, which is kind of like when um, I'm stressed, I will go to my go-to food and I will overeat. Or some people um, tend to smoke or use, drug, use drugs or um, alcohol to alleviate that stress. Um, that's why it's more rational to use the problem-focused approach, which tackles the uh, stress at the very source and not based on the emotions that are surrounding it. Okay, so ways to actually combat perceived stress. Um, we actually found a lot of great resources here at Emory, and one of those is kind of cheesy, but creating a support circle. Um, that just means engaging in more social activities um, as opposed to isolating yourself when you feel stress. Um, also, one of the ways you can do that would be joining some type of sports team. We have intramural teams, club sports, as well as varsity sports here. And exercise has also been known to contribute to less stress in individuals. So this also helps with time management, where when you have like a scheduled um, exercise routine, it kind of helps you clean out the rest of your day and you feel less stressed because of that. Meditation is also a great technique for relieving perceived stress. I know I'm going to be an essay next year, and we plan on having meditation programs for our freshmen in the dorm. Um, so that's definitely an option. We also have yoga classes here at Emory and the Woodpeck. And the Counseling Center is a great resource for students. Uh, this is for anybody who feels overwhelmed by any means. It's in the biology building, so it's really close. Um, and that also goes with if you feel depressed about a situation or you're starting to feel anxiety because of your stress, that's a great resource. So here are just some takeaways that we hope you got from this presentation what the frequent stressors are, such as financial troubles, balancing your academics with your extracurricular, even switching your majors during the year can be stressful. Also, the effects that perceived stress has on mental health. It can lead to higher levels of depression, you can be sleep deprived, and it can also lead to anxiety in your everyday activities. And how, so what resources are at Emory, such as the council, the Counseling Center, um, joining intramurals, all these are there to help you combat stress. Okay, so we just have this quote um, that we want you guys to take away from this. Is everything as urgent as your stress would imply? Stress is not something that you have to deal with. There's plenty of ways to cope with it in a healthy way. And so uh, we just want everybody's college experience to be as positive as possible. Yeah, be positive. <laughs> and that concludes our presentation.